Hi, I'm Daniel Bradley. I'm a quality manager at Honda Aircraft. I've been with Honda Aircraft now for 14 years. Some of the things that I do is make sure that the aircraft is built per our type design. Also make sure that we comply with our internal processes and procedures. And foremost is that we meet our customer satisfaction. We're in our production support facility, where as you can see behind me, we build our wing assembly. Um, so today, what I'd like to do, I want you to come hang out with me. We're gonna go quiz a couple of our technicians and inspectors, and we're gonna test their knowledge. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. How are you, Dan? I'm doing good. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Like, uh, what do you do here at Honda? Oh, I built the wings here at Honda. Been here for 10 years. All right, I have a few questions for you on the wing here. I noticed uh, there's a lot of these little tiny pieces that are installed, these little splices here. Well, we call those clips. Clips. And what they do, they tie the spars in to the ribs. Okay. And it adds strength to the whole structure of, of the spars. Okay. You definitely want your wing strong, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. We're getting ready to uh, finish up on this uh, mid strap here. Okay. Which is an extension of the mid spar. Okay. Fit like a glove, didn't it? Yes, it did. These are pins. Okay. And what they do, they help align the mistrar into the holes that we pre-drilled. Everything's lined up. Okay. Yes. These are Clicos. Clicos, all right. And what they do, they help keep your work in place. All right. So you keep these over in the bin to keep them off the off of the wing structure. So you mentioned FOD. So can you tell me what FOD is? Foreign object damage. Foreign and object damage and debris. So yes, sir. If one of those were left in there, we just don't want that on our aircraft. That would not be yes, good once the aircraft is good. put together. Yes, right. Sir. All right. Can you show me and let me yes, uh, sir. put the next one in there? So you have a Clico. As you fasten the nut down, it basically makes the tip of it expand out in the hole, holding the part in place, and everything is centered up with the hole that's already drilled. That way, you don't miss drill anything. And now we're going to use a clamp right here. And that's just to make sure it sits down flush up against the stringer here. Now it's set in location and we're gonna go ahead and finish doing the pilot holes on it. Ooh, let me test drive that thing. <laughs> Normally you see the drill this way, the drill's coming out at 90 degree. And then he also has this tool that you put down like a bushing and that makes sure that when you drill, it goes perpendicular to the surface. You don't wanna drill at an angle. Okay, I get a feel for it. And then I'm gonna drill straight down. All right. There we go. We're going to take our vacuum. Again, FOD control. So we have some of the shavings here from the drilling process. You keep that pretty clean. Uh, we, we try that, hard. That's cleaner than my living room floor right there. That's pretty clean. <laughs> okay. So now we need to call quality. They're going to inspect yes. the work that we just performed? Correct. All right. And so, they're also going to inspect the cleanliness of our job too. All right. Hi, Claudio. How, you How are doing? you? Pretty good, and you? All right. So you're one of our inspectors here in quality? Yes, sir. Every time the mechanic do any job in this wing, we make sure uh, we look at the drawing, make sure the parts are right, and uh, inspect what they did. And we do that all, all in the whole wing over here. Every single job that okay. mechanics do, we got inspected. We got to make sure they keep this clean. Uh, because when you put all the skin together, it's going to be hard to see. And I get your point. It would be really difficult to find FOD if but, it was trapped inside here once you put the wing on, correct. the skin on. Yes. So Eric looks yes. at it and then you come behind and you look at it as well. So it's yes. essentially double inspected to make sure it's clean. Yep. Well, thank you, Claudio. All right. Thank you, all sir. Right. Yes, sir. This is our upper wing skin. This entire part is milled out of a single block of aluminum. The advantage of having this single piece milled is we don't have to shoot fasteners in all of these in order to hold them onto the wing skin. This reduces the number of rivets on the outer wing, which helps increase our laminar flow and makes the wing lighter, it makes it stronger. I just wanna point out the difference in the colors. A lot of people don't know in, a, in the wing of your aircraft, uh, that's actually serving as one of your fuel bays. This yellow looking color is a fuel compatible 
type of uh, paint that we put on the wing. Where the dry bay, uh, this is just for the dry bay area, so that's not required. Hi, Spencer. Hey, Daniel. How are you today? Doing good. Spencer, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? How long you've been here at Honda and uh, like what we're working on here? So sure. how long have you been here? Seven years. And your team lead in this area? Yes. Um, on the wing, can you tell me a little bit about, you know, what's going on here? So we have two kinds of silt we use on the airplane. We have a face seal that keeps the structures glued together. And then we have a fillet seal. All right. This yellow is for fuel primer. That's right. This fillet seal right here acts as a ramp. It keeps the fuel from sloshing against a, uh, a surface and slowly degrading this rubber over time. This is a uh, electrical fillet seal. Lightning strike right. is what we call it. So if the aircraft gets hit by lightning. Any static it, discharge will be contained it, inside and right. it'll go out the static wicks of the plane instead of inside the fuel tank. Absolutely, we definitely do not want that. And then also in this area right here, I noticed this little flapper valve. Can you speak a little bit to the flapper yeah. valve, its purpose? So the purpose of the flapper valves is as you uh, perform a hard bank in a plane, this is again a fuel tank. So if we didn't have these flapper valves, all the fuel would rush to the exterior. One side. And right. it would imbalance the plane and yeah, so now your cause a tip. Yeah. And then what are we about to do next? So we are about to install the wing skin. Yeah, onto... we're about to load the skin on this thing. I think I've done this more than 200 times, actually. <laughs> yeah. Everything's quality. <laughs> Guys, good job, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Spencer, the, the skin install, that went very smoothly. Uh, got all the alignment pins in and some Clecos. Uh, can you tell me what's gonna happen next? We're gonna butt it up these holes with more of that sealant that you saw, the black stuff right here. All right. We're all right. gonna put that in all the holes and we're gonna start shooting on rivets. Okay. Uh, and as we shoot on the rivets, what's gonna happen is any air pockets that have formed inside the, uh, the sealant here, this are gonna be pushed there. out. Okay, pressed. it'll push it out. Exactly. So after you shoot all these fasteners in and you know they're wet installed, no fuel leaks, what is next though with this piece of the wing skin? Uh, we go from here to position five and that's okay. where the wing skins are actually married together from the center. There's okay. also a center tank that goes in there that adds a little bit more fuel. And then once it leaves that position, what, where does the wing go from there? Uh, it'll be going to paint. All right. And then it'll be going to uh, 10 to 40. Okay. And that's where it'll get uh, married with the fuselage. Before it leaves this building, is there a final inspection that's performed on the, oh, on the wing again? Tons of inspections. All right. And they check inside these access inside, panels outside. on the lower side, make sure there's double inspection because oh, yeah. it's a fuel tank area. So we, we double inspect to make sure there is no FOD contained inside. Foreign Nothing leaves here with FOD in it. Nothing. In, inside that wing. We want, our, we want our customers happy. That's right.